What is good friends, back with another shot on live using another team that insult used in OLT. This time a Z Fly Lando, Mega Alakazam, uh, Scarf Raji, AV Tangrowth again I think, I used that in the last live as well. So it's a kind of a similar team, but not the same completely. Uh, is he Vino Mega? Well, Andrus looks like it's a decent lead. Well, where's the Rotom? Not really. Because I have to see a Wisp. Dude, why does Rotom Heat like destroy his team? Um, yeah, this can this can kill the Venusaur. I think I go Zam here predicting a Wisp. Is he overheats? Okay, that's fine. Unless he's Scarf, I should be fine here and recover up. Be able to recover up. Gonna stay regular form in case I get status. Oh yeah, I tried to record with a Grottle team and I kinda, I don't know. I went like 3 and 1, so it was actually decent. But I misplayed one game and I got also lucked a bit that game and I just got mad and I stopped recording. Like, it's not for me. But I get triggered too easily, so Tita forces me to focus blast and if it's AV or Chopper or Spadev in general, then I'm already screwed, but yeah, he just is not dead. I don't know why he made that play then. So Sandra's drill forces me out here, we will just go into Landris. SD's up. Corkscrew Crash can now kill me. Um, I don't have a counter, Corkscrew Crash kinda gets a kill. I mean, I can go Rachi here, but... That's gonna take a million from Corkscrew Crash, as he doesn't go for it. Oh, he's live for it. Cool, 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 cool. The thing is, he can SD again potentially. Predicting my switch. He did that so much. I forgot him offensive landers. He's like adamant though. Like, what? Oh, I'm, I, I thought I was bulk invested. I only have some HP. So, if he's adamant, which I don't know if he is because I didn't run the Kalk, I'm faster now. I'm gonna assume that I'm faster. Slash predict the switch and go my, get my rocks up. And. I can just toxic this boy as he gets his rocks up. And yeah, I want to keep this around to potentially... I kind of want to go grand here, predicting HP ice. But that is just not the play, I feel. Okay, Greninja would have worked there. Yeah, I don't really know what my play is with this. I think I'll just knock. I should be able to live overheat as he whisked me, predicting what? Dude, where's my overheat switching? Why did you do that? Okay. I wanna go Gren on the overheat now. <laughs> I I was gonna say, but it's too risky because Greninja kinda wins. Okay, I did it anyway. And now we'll click Dark Pulse as Brit and Venusaur basically. I'm expecting that to come out, yeah. Get a crit, which is super unfortunate. And it's revenge for my Zora. I think I got um, crit in a Zora Aura game that I lost with my Grottle team. I mean, UB's Grottle team. That game was super fun, but yeah, um, no, not that game, but that team is fun. There's Dark Pulse kill, I don't know the count on that. Well, I'm gonna assume he's bulky, if he brings it out. Yeah, that doesn't kill unless I get max. Just go to this bad boy here, get some Rocky Helmet damage. Kyurem can come out, kinda get a kill, but it's fine, uh, I, got a, I got some sacks. But yeah, going hard Gren was definitely a misplay on the overheat, but it worked, so... There we go, it worked. Um, what do I do here? I feel like a U-turn. Well, this Torn is not needed to win the game. Uh, well, now that he lost his Venusaur, I can sack my Landris as well, and... I look like a complete Dawn, and I can just fire off my Sky Strike here, because I don't have anything else to kill him. See, Volts again, predicting my... I'm, dude, I'm not going hard grin again, I just did that one time to flex for no reason. But yeah, I don't know. Pretty sure he's... Oh, he is jolly, okay. But yeah, now we can just click Dark Pulse here, I think. Yeah, yeah Dark Pulse gets a kill, pretty much. But yeah, also if you guys want to see lower tiers, let me know in the comments. Uh, I feel like Kyurem lives, because Kyurem is pretty bulky naturally. But yeah, basically the lower tiers that I pl could play or get into are... And there's a roll that I don't want to risk. 
I just set my tang on my torn. I feel like I set my torn here. Sub Zero Slammer. And now I just click Iron Head or U Turn. I don't think it matters because I'm really ahead in this game. But yeah, I'll just Iron Head and yeah, not risk anything. Got more sex. The OTs I could potentially play would be UU or NU. So let me know if you like any of those. Don't feel like lower tiers are like a big thing. I'm, like I haven't uploaded much of that. I had only guest uploads for them. But if you guys want to see it, I'm fine with uploading some lower tier content. Um, doesn't matter to me. So if we sub cure them, it could be annoying, but I don't think it matters because I have um, Alakazam to psychic and break the sub if Earthquake doesn't do enough to break it. And then I still have Dark Pulse Grin and Scarf Rachi. So we just click Psychic here and it off with Alakazam and we will grab another one. Okay, this guy is a normal team outside of the Dragonite, so that's cool. And the Tornado seems like it can lead off well versus most of his team. Only problem would be if he's a Z-move Landris. Uh, he's Scarf Landris, so that's fine as long as he doesn't crit me, which he doesn't. And now, kind of want to U-turn, but it's just not the play. Potential play for him would be Heatran, so I'm not gonna go Rachi. I think I go Grin here. Yeah, I feel like he's going trans. So, oh, he goes Torn. Okay. Yeah, that's also a fine play for him going Torn, and now he can probably just go for U-turn or knockoff. And I don't have a switch in for this, so that's really annoying. Like, I mean, I have my own Torn, but that's not a switch in. I mean, I'll go to it, but... Okay, it just kills me with Z-Fly, that's bad. I mean, I assumed it was Z-Fly, I didn't see what Z-Move it was, but it seemed like it was Z-Fly. My only play there was... <clears throat> basically, I had to sack, unless I went Rachi, but I didn't want to go Rachi and knock off. Because I, I like Kazam can be a problem for my team, so I wanted to keep my Scarf. Yeah, this is so bad, I cannot deal with this. I just fire off my Z, I guess, and... If he stays in, he will probably get bopped by this. Yeah, obviously, because I'm Adam and makes the tag, right? I think so, yeah. So, the only way to like prevent the kill here is I guess you can go Landorus, but that will still take a good chunk. Oh, actually, Landorus will die at the range it's at, probably. So, Tren is like the only way he can prevent me getting a kill here, but he just knocks, doesn't want to risk missing, and he's gonna get bopped. So, cool. Turn out the way now. Uh, Rachi can actually like bop him if I get rid of the trend because Landers already chipped. Um, but yeah, I'll just go Tangorus here. I feel like he's either gonna spike or if he's um, if he's protein, he's gonna ice beam, which would be bad. So I guess Hard Zam is also an option if I know his set, but I have to scout his set out first. Like not Hard Zam, I mean the Zam the next turn was an option if he ice beam there potentially at least, but then he could also still have U turn depending on. Like, you never know, Protein Gwen can also use U-turn with Ice Beam and Z-Move. Now, I feel like doubling into Gren here or... Yeah, I think he's going Tren. Well, I could have just knocked there, honestly. Knock was free. Um, and I'm not sure why I didn't just knock. But it's okay, we will go into our Tangrowth. Because you can only hit me with Focus Blast, and then the next turn we can either go for Knock or pivot into the Jirachi. I mean, I was just trying to hard read the Heatran there, but I could have also just knocked the off quick with the Tang. But he gets the Trace region, which is a bit annoying. I'll pivot into my Jirachi. If he's a good play, Focus Blast again, predicting that, but he does not, so it's fine. He just U turn here as he takes a good chunk back to this bad boy, and now we can just knock off. Thing is, he has region traced, so you get some health back here. Um, okay, he recovers, which is not the play for him. That does way too much. I kind of want to earthquake breaking the trend, but yeah, knockoff is just free, I guess. Uh, did he reveal a Z yet? He, re he did reveal a Z. So if he goes trend, I will get rid of the leftovers. So that's fine with me. Yeah, it's not a big deal if he goes trend. And he does sack off his Alakazam, so that's cool. The Dragonite could come out, turn a setup, or Tren comes out. Which gives me a switch into my Greninja, and then I'll just 
fire of a hydro pump. Sorry, my dude. Um, it happens. It's Pokemon. Oh yeah, we have Surf. I forgot. Enzo doesn't use hydro pump on his Greninja. So I would have been pretty much dead now if you hit the first one. Maybe I would have been alive barely. I think Enzo changed it. The original team had pump, if I recall correctly. But yeah, he doesn't risk missing. And I don't really feel like risking the... Actually, he already revealed that he's Ash Ninja, right? But their pump will probably kill me. So Tangress is still my play. The only problem I can see at this point is the um, the Dragonite can still be a threat. Um, Grass not instead of uh, Giga Chain, right? Mm, Grass not actually makes contact. That could also might matter, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, I'm not HP Ice, damn. It's fine though, I go to this boy. And I can also trace the, the multi scale with my Alakazam. So as long as he's not sub. I'm good to go right here with the toxic and I mean it's 90% accurate I guess there's a chance I'll miss cool and now I'll just go for a fly get some chip on this boy pretty sure I can live that with my Landra's natural bulk and he's probably gonna drag dance again um, but the fly if it hits plus the toxic as it misses I was gonna say that's gonna bring him super low but that's not how Pokemon works tempted to go Jirachi here but um yeah, I'm going Jirachi. Because I should be able to live a Dragon Claw, get the Intimidate off, sacking Landris. And then. What do I sack? Well, I can go Alakazam and. The thing is, I need Alakazam to have a Mon that outspeeds Gren in case he flinches my tank to get Ash. I should still be fine. But I basically, I want to see if I can live a hit. Unless it's not. But if it's a Z, he's gonna kill me. But if it's not Z, I should be able to live with the multi scale. Exactly, Bob. That worked perfect. So Alakazam doing its best to go for the thumbnail so far. I'll just go tang here. As you're not gonna risk missing a focus blast if we don't have to. Earthquake is super free right here. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a little bit of hacks, but I don't think that mattered too, too much. Okay, we got a grimy team right here. This looks like Auras, but like not even standard, just grimy, disgusting. Uh, probably Mega Scissor. Or it could also be Band Surplus, Mega Bro. But uh, looking at it. Yeah, this looks tough to break, honestly. I just gotta play really well, but I feel like he has an answer for everything. And I. Don't really want to U-turn because he has a Zap, so I'll just Hurricane here because I want to find out Zapdos' ability before I go for U-turn. I always preach that, um, yeah, like hard U-turning into Zapdos. If you can afford to not make that play, then you shouldn't. Uh, if you don't know if it's pressure yet, because you don't want to get static static parrot. But my guy might just bless me with a timer disconnect, uh, timer win. I mean. That's cool, because I really don't want to play his Grammy team. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm... This account is still quite low, as you can tell from the teams we're facing. I think we're like 21 and 1 or something like that. Maybe 22 and 1, not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just... I know you guys voted on Twitter for 3 or 2 lives a week. I think 3 lives actually won. Um, yeah, that's probably not gonna be a possible for me. I know there hasn't been a live in like a week, right? So I was like, okay, I gotta get one out today. But it's just, I don't know, tournament, recording tournament games is just more fun for me. The latter can be really frustrating if you get hacks and stuff like that. Well, if, you, if I would play tournament games myself and get a hack state, it would also be frustrating. I get tilted way too easy. Um, I gotta work on that. So like... I mean, I guess it has been fine, this video. Like, the guy that hacked me before I started this recording. Like, it was only a little bit of hacks, and I just get annoyed way too easy. But it was game deciding. Well, he won a 50-50 at the end. But since I was on low ladder, I wasn't sure if he knew if it's a... F that's a I wasn't sure if he knows that it's a 50-50, because I was on low ladder, right? So I didn't expect him to make the double, but he made the double and bopped me. So I got destroyed there, but he hacked me to get into that position. Anyway... 
Uh, Alakazam seems really solid in this one, unless he leads with... I guess he could have led with the bird. But he has a free as psychic. Well, he could U-turn if he scarf into... Like, the worst thing that could happen is if he U-turns into a Greninja. And U-turn brings me into range of Water Shriek. But yeah, he's not scarf, so we get some good chip off. And I really want to focus Blast here. I'll just Shadow Ball. Yeah, okay. And... Like, if he was Scarf Grand, he could have tried to pivot into Greninja there, so I wanted to at least get some damage off. Would have been wild there if he went hard into his Staraptor, predicting the Shadow Ball, but like, no one predicts the Shadow Ball right there. That was not not the play for him to predict that, but yeah, getting rid of Lando, does that any... I mean, it doesn't really open up anything outside of my Jirachi, but there's still a Zard that I have to deal with before my Jirachi goes in. And I also have to worry about Prankster from the uh, Whimsic Card, which could potentially have a way to para my Jirachi. I don't remember what move it gets. Whimsic Card gets some sort of para move, right? Is it Stun Spore? I don't remember. I don't think it gets T-Wave. But yeah, he will probably... He can go Zard, which can live any hit. He can go Scarf Gwen or Scarf the Raptor, depending on what is a Scarf right here. And... Yeah, um, I first I wanted to talk about something else, but I forgot. Yeah, I already talked about lower tier shot on lives. So, um, yeah, three lives is not going to be possible in a week, but I'm going to try to bring you guys two shot on lives. But um, if, I, if I'm if i busy in the week and I feel like recording and, I only, and there's a tournament game, then I will prior, prioritize the tournament game over a shot on live. That's just how it goes on my channel. Um, I enjoy recording tournament games way more, like I said. But uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't really need my Landris for anything outside of the Staraptor. So I feel like I'm gonna just go into that in case he's Zard X. Wait, he is a wait. He has a Zam. Well, yeah, Zam is regular. Yeah, Zam is gonna be regular form. For a second, that was really confused. But yeah, he's obviously regular like a Zam, which is either Sash or Life, or most likely. And um, Z Fly is 175 base power. Of quick is still the play. Oh, that actually killed. Oh fuck! I just hurt my teeth. Uh, this is really bad for me. I think I go for hearts. Hearts. Oh, I don't have hearts. Oh no! <laughs> I was just using a team with Scarf Jirachi that had that had heart st stamp or however you say that move. Call it move. Stomp stamp whatever. It had that move. But this boy does not have it. But um, basically, it's still a speed tie. <laughs> Good God, I'm lucky in that. It's still a speed tie that I win and flinch him because I'm wild. And he's also confused now. So this is like kind of in my favor that he cannot attack me, which is cool. Oh, yeah, I think it's not a speed tie. I don't think he's max speed because I'm like faster every turn. He might be adamant, Zard, which might be the reason why he was able to kill Malandrus. Oh yeah, that was, I thought I had a hard stamp stomp thing. I think it's stamp, I don't know what I'm saying, it's so weird. Yeah, yeah it's stamp. Which is also 60% chance to flinch with Searing Grace from Jirachi. Yeah, there were no tournament games today, I know there's a little bit, there's Grand Slam tomorrow. And I want to record all the Grand Slam playoff matches, but I, I don't know how, okay, why are you going to this, my guy? You see counters and oh he's counters are <laughs> Yeah that was a misplay on my end honestly because that was my flying resist. <laughs> um I'll try to get my ash form here. Wait, I'm faster. I don't have to go for sure right now. I'm just dark bolts. Oh you might go Whimsicott or his own Greninja, which he does. Good play and I predict he would be counters and <laughs> that was obvious. I should have just switched out right there. But like I thought about it too late when I had already clicked my play. So what can I do here? HP fire. I feel like knockoff is the play, because if he goes Raptor, I wanna get rid of a potential scarf. And if he stays in I just get rid of the leftover, so that's fine with me. Also like recording lives, I don't know why, but it feels I, I'm, I get super tired after recording live, don't ask me why. If I record tournament games, I can record multiple in a row, I'm fine, but live doesn't work with the same. Um, doesn't work the same way. So Scarf Raptor, I think, just beats my entire team. Um, what I have to do is... 
get recoil on him and then bring him in range of water shooting but like throwing out Jiraji was like a huge misplay on my <laughs> I don't even know do I need the Alakazam or the Tornadoes more honestly I think what gives him more recoil Uh, I think the Zam's fine to keep. Brave Bird. Re okay, that doesn't even kill. Okay, this is really good because it gives him helmet plus recoil. So this brings him in the Shuriken range most likely. So this is the play, yeah. This was the right play. So we got a default off here. Amazing. And now, I could have U-turned there, but this is still fine, I think. I would scout his Greninja set again with the Tang. I feel like Protein Gun is so scary that people don't really use it that much. Like, it obviously depends. That's like one of the reasons why I like to use either Gastrodon or Pax plus a secondary Greninja check so you can pivot versus Protein Greninja usually. Um, you can usually wall it with like multiple pivots, but if you only have one check for it, then, you, then it's gonna bop you with coverage. Um, but yeah, we just click Grass Knot here, and yeah, we can get Chip on the Raptor if he goes to that. And in case he went for the flinch, I wanted to stay in. And now I just set my torn, get some helmet, chip plus brave, but chip if he attacks me. And now he's in water shooting range, so he definitely messed that one up. So I feel like um, Wimsy Cut is the play always here. Kind of want to double switch, but it's too risky for me. Yeah. So now he can U turn on my tank and get another kill. Which is why I wanted to double switch here. Yeah, maybe I should have doubled. But like, that's always the thing. I don't give people on that a credit until they like make some wild plays. Uh, until they like show me that they can play and this team doesn't like look like try hard or anything. Um, but yeah, he just gave his momentum away. If you turned or doubled, he could have just gotten a kill right there. But yeah, and. I definitely should have doubled out into my either Tang or Alakazam anticipating the Whimsicott. Like, the Shuriken was just too obvious. Okay, so we got rid of the lefties, which is good for my Gren. And I'll just HP fire here, I guess. Moombas is doing nothing, hopefully, no special attack drops. Uh, yeah, I can also bring you guys, like, what's it called? Oh, he gets a drop, that's fine. I can also let up the accounts higher before the recording if you guys want that, but that will take even more time. Um, that curve was really annoying, but it's still okay, I think. Dude, I think I... Nah, going Zam here doesn't really get me that much. It's fine. So now he gets a kill with Raptor. I would... Gr he's trying to get Ash, yeah. Never mind, he makes the correct play. Not giving you ash though. Wait. Hydro Vortex, okay. So now I either have to hit a focus blast if I give him ash or if I go tang here. Um I think Dark Pulse might just be a 2 hit KO. Some 218 special defense tang growth. Uh so you guys can probably still hear my computer in the background sometimes because my uh, my laptop is super loud. Still working on uh, getting a new computer, but um, yeah, basically I asked like some dudes that like know what's popping, what computer do I need for fast rendering, for fast editing, streaming, all that, and basically um, what's it called? Wait, wait! I just sacked my way of beating the Astoraptor. Dude, I have the big dons. So now I lose guaranteed, right? Do I? Oh my god, this is why you don't... I don't lose guaranteed because he dies to recoil. But yeah, this is why I should not... What's it called? Well, I either have to risk the flinch or the or hitting a focus blast. And I'll go for the focus instead. Yeah, if I talk about something else that is not the game, <laughs> I get distracted way really easily. Very really easy, which should not happen, but it does happen. So we do get rid of the grander hitting. And now... I think I sank my tank and he dies to recall. 
and that's it. That's the game. Always oh, U-turn. Oh, that's fine because we live too. Uh, he's obviously U-turn, but yeah, just knock off for the game. That was super shaky and misplayed, but that's just what happens with me. Like, <laughs> I get like, what's it called? What's the term? Imp I get impatient after I play like one or two games and I start playing like shaky. Just definitely something I should work on. I mean, it's also because I'm not playing that much myself and I'm mainly watching others play, I guess. Now, um, yeah, I always forget that I don't have knockoff on my turn. But yeah, the team is made by Ray, aka I'm so sorry, lol. So shoutouts to him, I forgot to say that. My man insult uploaded this um, old T series the other day where he used his teams as well. So you can obviously lift that with the intimidate and just with Ton being timid. I feel like going Gren here, even though it's like. If he drain punches me, props to him, but yeah. I figured that was the play that was coming out. So Fair was coming out here. Um, but Dark Pulse is still my play in case he stays. Wait, he's Assault Vest. What the fuck? 27, there's no way that's normal damage. But yeah, I was just gonna say, um, a good mid ground there would have been going Tornadoes as it covered the Pharaoh because it has Heat Wave. And also covered the Drain Punch in case Dark Blood doesn't kill for some reason. So that would have been the play to make, but I didn't make it. Um, yeah, I should have called that and seen that he's not banned, but I still wouldn't like, have expected. I mean, it was obvious that he wasn't banned, but I still didn't expect that he would be a Salt Vest. But yeah, these misplays are annoying. Um, well, honestly, who expects AV Hooper? 44 to 51. But yeah, we just U turn now. Gengar looks annoying as well. Gengar kind of gets a kill when it comes in with Shadow Ball. Eh. Well, expect Shadow Ball, yeah. Especially if it gets a drop. The tank can check it, so it's okay. Um, we got HP Fire on Jirachi, like I don't know why it's HP Fire instead of Fire Punch, like I think it's for Katana, but still not 100% sure. Maybe Fire Punch doesn't kill, I didn't calc it. So if I go Zam, um, I have to risk getting Focus Blast. If I go Tang, I feel like that's a bit passive, I think Lando's the play. Yeah, I'll just get my rocks. Then Earthquake. Okay, no, obviously we don't Earthquake now. We, um, I would HP I see, but I don't have it. Yeah, I just got torn as he's gonna go for his rocks or for a Defog. And yeah, I just have to cane, I feel. Pharaoh might come out here, which would let me heat wave it. Um, Okay, he just stays in the dodge. That can also work for him, obviously. I mean, I was gonna heat wave there, but if I don't reveal heat wave, then he might not expect it later on in the game with the feral. And exactly, he goes hard into it. Now we can bop him with a heat wave, uh, which should be a 2 8 KO. And knocks off my helmet. And uh, if you don't kill, I think it's the play, but I don't know if it does. I did not import the custom set, what am I doing, dude? Uh, let me just import this, I should have imported the entire team, not only the Torn. So, what's the name of this? Okay, okay. Also, I don't know what the nicknames are from, I didn't ask. Someone is gonna scream, why do you not know that? <laughs> it's fine, Ferrothorn. I mean, if he's, f I'm just trying to see how, because he's more, yeah, he's fist that Pharaoh song, because he with it more than it should have done. So if he's like, impish, let's say he's max defense, you don't still kills unless I get mineral. So you don't was the play, and this gives me my uh, Alakazam and just a s well, but yeah, psychic should be free. No. Hooper is not in range to die from Focus Blast. That's the problem I have. Because he can go Hooper on Psychic and then live a Focus Blast if he's AV, which I think he is from the damage. Assault Vest. 
But yeah, basically what I'm trying to say earlier, if I, when I got my new computer, yeah, Focus Blast is a roll on Hooper. Oh man, <laughs> I should have predicted the Hooper. It's fine, since he's not banned and my Torn can live a hit. Okay, cool. Um, did the Ferrothorn reveal leftovers? Because if the Ferrothorn is Helmet... Uh, yeah, the Ferrothorn might be Rocky Helmet. And I don't want to die to Rocky Helmet, so I'm gonna go for Hurricane as he dodges. Which is fine, as long as I have my Heat Wave. And then he can go into his... Alakazam or whatever next. Or, um, I guess Gengar if he's Scarf. Yeah, it goes Gengar. Screaming that he's Scarf as we will pivot into Tangros to see what he locks into potentially. Yeah, that is nothing. So free knockoff here for me. And now, I guess he might be Zemo of Lily. Yeah, I did nothing. That was obvious that he would be Z Lily, but I didn't expect it. So we love Quake once. I thought he might HP fire. Good HP fire now, but I should still live that. Uh, best he could do is HP fire or lot pummeling me, but he doesn't. So U-turn. If it doesn't kill, I would be really surprised, and I think it's just the play. I should definitely run some calcs with this Jirachi. Um, to see the thing. Damn. What if he U-turns now? Like, I know he's probably going Hooper, but... He might predict me to predict the Hooper and stay in. <laughs> Whatever, um... Yeah, now I don't have a switch in any Well, I guess Lando kind of... 51... Um... I'll just Z-move the Landris... And then, um... I'll Toxic and then Rock... Because I don't know if regular Fly would even kill... Yeah, it was kind of... I don't know. We get playing on my end. I feel like I said that the weight too much though. But yeah, now his lander is that's pretty much dead. And in case he HP fires here, we will stay in, but he doesn't. Okay. Uh, we just Iron Head here, and he's probably forced into Scarf Gengar after he sacks something, which is Landorus, um, obviously, since that was super low already. And HPS would have been so much better than Toxic in this game. <laughs> he goes Gengar, and if he Sludge Waves, props to you, my guy, but instead he def but def drops me. So now, man, that's so annoying. Knockoff should kill Gengar, right? Earthquake is actually my play, because it hits the Lele harder. And it also kills Gengar since Gengar lost Levitate. Oh, never mind, Lele is super low and dies to Knockoff. But, like, Hooper also dies after Rocks. Alakazam dies to Earthquake and to Knockoff anyway. So, Earthquake is free. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, Sex Lele. Um, I just gotta be careful to not lose the rest of Gengar. I definitely misplayed, you can say. Not. Not anticipating the the Hooper twice, <laughs> and like earlier, like I said, I should have just um, made the mid ground of going torn because I didn't know if he was AV Hooper. And here, I should have Iron Headed. I don't know why I U turned. Iron Head pretty much guaranteed me a kill. Oh no, Alakazam was at full. But yeah, that was another misplay because now. Well, Sludge Wave does not kill me, I'm pretty sure. If Sludge Wave does not kill me, there's no way. Cool. I was gonna go Jirachi there on the obvious Sludge Wave, but um, just getting the Scarf Gengar out of the way is also fine, because now my Scarf Jirachi just wins if I, yeah, don't play like a complete, like a complete idiot. I think I just... I mean, it doesn't matter if Scavarachi wins, yeah. You turn sack slash live on one, wow. So we can win the tie here potentially. I think a max speed, right? 
Yep, I am max speed. And after rocks. Wait, earlier when I switched out, was the hoop at 32 or was it a rock? No, it was at 32, obviously. Yeah, so shovel. But yeah. That was shaky, dude. Okay, I gotta play better in the last game. Um, To end it off. But yeah, when I get a new computer, I can basically calc at the side. You guys will not have background noises. And what's it called? I mean, I don't know if you can hear the background noise. But I feel like when I don't speak, that the computer background noise is like definitely there. Dude, I always leave it torn, but it's just such a good lead. And this one... Um, I also like Tangros as a lead if you didn't have the Skarm. If you didn't have Skarm, I would lead Tangros. But since Torn is Heatwave, um, that's the lead. Torn does just so well with his, like 4 out of 6 members. And if we just u turn turn 1 here, and even if he lives it, that's fine. And we get to see if he switches out what that he's not helmet chomp in this scenario. Now we can go to this boy and get our rocks up. Um, he probably goes scum or he will get... Okay, I was gonna say his own rocks, but he pops me with a Z move. And I'm not used to using offensive landers with almost no bulk. So I keep getting surprised by how much damage this does to me. I go to Torn here. He gets his rocks up, okay. That was quite obvious. I could have predicted that and gone for my Z. Just fire off a hurricane on the Megirna and then a heat wave, um, knowing that I can live a hit and that he's confused, so he might hit himself. Uh, lucky and bad coming through. How to beat a Megirna with a tornado. Uh, so he vaults for some chip. And I could go out like a Zami because I'm probably in psychic range now, which means um, I want to go. I'm just gonna go Tang. I wanna go Jirachi, but yeah, he predicts my Jirachi and goes for Shadow Ball, so it was good that I didn't go to it. And now... I pivot into my Jirachi. Okay, I'm bad. <laughs> I was gonna knock there otherwise, which also would've done nothing to the jump. So I go my Tang here. If he has these... Okay, he has Fire Blast. I mean, I can't really touch this, which is like really bad for me. Um, I just want to get some damage off on this jump to get it in range of okay of Greninja. <laughs> that crit obviously allows me to do that to get it in range of Gren or Alakazam, and I'll just click Surf here. It should be in range, right? From Spec Surf, so it goes Megina, which should be to hit KO if it doesn't die. Yeah, it's a Salt Vest, I think. Breloom can threaten me out. I don't know if it has a Mach Punch though, because it's a toxic orb heal. But Surf is also a roll slash it might not kill at all. So he's a substitute Breloom. Oh man, he's gonna spore me, right? Yeah, this is 8, dude. Who wants to play with this? I definitely don't wanna. I mean, if he doesn't have a move to hit me, I should be... Oh, he has Rock too. Not like this. Now he's also fat. Dude, why is this a counter team? <laughs> No, don't do this to me. So we can U-turn here. He tries to break Sleep Claw. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Why does that not break the sub? And why does that kill? What? <laughs> He's really bulky. U-turn does not even break the sub. Dude, that's insane. And now he can actually, like, destroy me. When you say you want to play better in the last game, but you still play awful. Classic Docker. Focus Punch doing so much damage. That was embarrassing, dude. Getting destroyed by a Breloom. Like, imagine a Breloom. That one is awful. <laughs> also, should have focused Blasted there in case he went Hooper. <clears throat> Shadow Ball is free for him. Let's just, let's just get some tie action going. Oh, we don't kill him. Unfortunate, because this next time matters more. So, it's Sex of Chomper. I mean, I died to rocks, so there's no point switching out. But my Greninja can still win, I guess. Nah, Breloom is too healthy. If I had Ice Beam, I won, so I don't know why he goes to this. Like, it's the play. Um, I think I flinch him now. I don't flinch him, okay. Uh, 
Um, oh yeah, U-turn is only 70 base, of course, it doesn't do that much. Give me 10 hits or something. <laughs> 5 hits. Damn. I actually got 5 hits and a crit and it still was not a win. <laughs> actually win. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck. I still need 3 or 4 hits though. Yo, so lucky. <laughs> That's insane. 5 hits and a crit to win after playing like a complete idiot. <laughs> well, actually if he lives this and is brave, but I still lose. But he doesn't. Damn, that's crazy. So lucky. <laughs> so lucky and bad. Good fucking god.